Oh, welcome back. You know, just this week we told you that Midwest Magazine named Wilson's Orchard and Farm one of the best, best places to visit this fall. Yes, and we wanted to make sure you knew about them. So good morning and welcome Paul Raish, owner and chief Apple officer at Wilson's Orchard and Farm in Johnson County. Hi. First Hi. Off, did we pronounce the last name right? Rash, like rash. diaper rash. rash. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Look at all this. This is this is a breakfast of champions right here, Paul. You got your apples, you got your cider, you got the stuff for mom and dad here. And for breakfast. And for breakfast. Yeah. Hey, tomorrow's a tailgate Saturday. Before it is we Friday. even start talking about what it means to be at the, the the orchard. Where can people find you guys? Let's start with that. Dingleberry Road, the okay. only Dingleberry Road around. So we're <laughs> just north of I-82 miles off from Highway 1. Dingleberry Road intersects Highway 1. So I didn't yeah. know that road existed. Yes, Once you indeed. see it, you'll never forget. No, so. I will never forget that. <laughs> wow. The yeah, most stolen sign in Johnson County. I was going to ask that. Is, that. is that just chained down to the pole? <laughs> yeah, yeah they work, have it pretty so. well secured now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about yeah, the orchard. Yeah, tell us about yeah. the orchard. Yeah, so uh, Wilson started in the 80s with Chug and Joyce Wilson, and uh, we've been sort of expanding it over the years. Uh, we grow about 80 different varieties of apples, um, but we also have a lot of food service stuff anymore, and we do a lot with cider and other beverages. Mm -hmm. So starting with apples, you know, every week is a different sort of apple. These oh. are what we're picking right now, Honeycrisp, Jonathan's, Crimson Crisp, which is one of our real favorites. This is Blondie, Galas. Uh, yeah, there's always something sweet, tart, you know, baking, eating long storage, something all the time. Yeah. And then uh, our bakery cranks out lots of stuff, donuts. Uh, the donuts. <laughs> kind of famous for our apple cider turnover, or our apple turnovers. Um, and we make pies, of course, and now they're making cookies and cinnamon rolls, all that kind of stuff as well. I wish you could smell that picture right now. I know. <laughs> it, it smells I so manifested good these donuts being here this morning. Well, and Paul, this has to be, for you guys, one of the best times of the year because you get the families, dads and moms, grandpas and grandmas, and little kids just running all over the place. Yeah, it's a feel good business. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, everybody comes out and they're excited. We're getting on, you know, easily the second and pushing the third generation of people that have come come out, they've ridden on Bessie the tractor, they've heard about the alligators in the creek and you know, all <laughs> the stories that go with that. So yeah, it's, it's just a place where people come out to have a good time and, and you know it's a place where you can feel good about bringing your kids out, you know, mm -hmm. shut your phone. We don't even have a good cell service out there. So, <laughs> Perfect. So, I've been there, yeah. it's true. Yeah. <laughs> don't take a good picture without service. That's yeah. right, yeah. And we're growing now lots of different things. So we start with tulips and then we grow strawberries in May raspberries, blueberries, sunflowers, other flowers, and then of course apples, pumpkins, yeah. and then we uh -huh. do Christmas trees. And do you have any events coming up? Always. There's always events coming up. We have music every Thursday and Sunday and often on Saturdays as well. So there's always, there, we have a really nice, well-established, well-shaded area with picnic tables and bands play there. And uh, then we have a, a place you can get uh, farm fresh pizza. We make our own pizza, everything from scratch. Um, we use lots and lots of local veg and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even some meat from Iowa. Um, and so it's just a nice place to kind of hang out. So yeah. in addition to the apples and the donuts and bakery stuff, we do do a lot with savory stuff. Well, and, and uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention too, a great spot for, you know, family get-togethers or weddings. I know you've had a few of those mm -hmm. out there in the orchard too. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We do a lot of weddings a year, you know, 60 to 80 a year out there. And uh, wow. we've got a pretty nice little spot with a oak sort of encapsulated uh, wedding site mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, an indoor uh, site with an old restored barn. That's kind of cool. Now, we, we must mention real quick, uh, Bessie is a little under the weather today. Is that what, what's going on? Or one of the tractors, or was it not Bessie? It wasn't Bessie. Okay. No, 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 no. Bessie's no. okay. Bessie's okay. Bessie okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> we had somebody, Bessie did go down in August, and we had somebody one of the kids that wanted to ride her approached the Soul and Firefighting Department and asked them if they could go fix her because they <laughs> wanted to ride her. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we've got, and again, you can find all these ciders out there and all this stuff that we've got on the, on the uh, set here with us. Out at, out at your guys place so tell everybody how to get there when you're open and bring the whole family out yes, too. for everyone. Right, so we're open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. this time of the year uh, Wednesday through Sunday. 
okay? okay? So we're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. We're on Dingleberry Road. You go to wilsonsorchard.com, you can get directions, you can see all the events that are going on, wilsonsorchard.com. But otherwise, it's just get on Highway 1, one way or another, find Dingleberry Road, go east a mile, you're there. Thanks for coming in this morning. Yeah, thanks, thanks for oh, having us. Yeah, yeah thank morning. you. Well, great to meet you guys. Now, which one's your favorite again? Well, I like this one. Okay. Yeah, we're going to eat those. <laughs> Corey, we'll save a few for you, but we've got to let you do weather first. Good